Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will see how to batch a signals together and how to improve the performance of our application in SolidJS. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code to understand batches with a proper example. So here, let me go with one small example. Again, I'll be going with the same type of example so that it will be very easy to understand. I'll be using age property and set age as a signal. So let me use a create signal and let me use a default value as 10. Now let me create one more signal which is like count and I'm using something like set count equal to create signal. Now this value let me make it as 0 and let me print these two values paragraph and age hyphen age and let me create one more paragraph with count and let me use something like count and save this now let me create one more button or before creating the button I'll just create a derived value that is nothing but const let me use something like total value and it should be something like a written value of our age value plus count value so I'm tracking both of age and count value when age updates it has to update when count updates it has to update but here there is a small change in the updation for example instead of having two individual buttons I have one individual button which should update two particular signals for example I have a on click event over here and this on click event should update the age and count so this is my method so let me create a new method over here so what this should do is it should update both our age as well as the count value with one that means in this case I can use something like set age of get the previous age value plus one and let me get set count of count value plus one so on one click I want to update both age and count so like this I want to update so when I click on this button it has to update the age as well as the count when this updates then it will be calling this total value let me copy this total value and let me get the new value from this total value that is also a signal so hence we need to call this value let me save this go here now age is 10 and count is 0 so the total count is 10 so when I update this age and count age should be 11 count should be 1 and this should be 12 let me hit this so it is 11 plus 1 is 12 let me hit this 12 plus 2 is 14 but that means it is updating age it is updating the count at the same click and it is updating the total value as well but there is one problem here this age and count are dependent on each other and they are updating on a batch wise that means it is updating at a time so what is the problem over here I feel the problem is with updation of the values for example I am using something like inside derived signal and how many times it is getting updated one time and two times so the total value will get updated one time and two times so internally total value will be updated by using two values one is age and the count that means on one click if I update both of this this total value will be invoked two times so let me see that let me go here first time it is a derived signal let me clean this when I click this it has to call one time but it will call two times because it is having two signals and the two signals are updated at once so let me go here and click this if you see here inside derived signal inside derived signal the method is invoked two times you are able to see only one value but internally it is executing two times so this is a type of performance issue so that's why we should reduce this updations by using badges so how to reduce so in this case these two badges are dependent on each other and that's why I'll make this as one batch so there is a keyword called as batch and this batch will receive a callback function and this callback function should have all your dependent signals 
where it has to be updated in this case what it will do is it will wait until it this whole batch completes its updates and then it will give the signal to that particular dependent signals that means here age and count will get updated and then only it will tell this total value to check the value otherwise it will not tell immediately once the age is updated and count is updated so let me go here clear this off and reload on the reload it called for the first time and when I click this it will update age it will update count it will update total value and the total value derived signal will be called only once or invoked only once let me click this you can see here inside derived signals let me click again inside derived signal let me click again inside derived signal that means it is just calling one time and instead of calling n number of times so this could be a small issue for for us in this example but there could be a situation where you can combine n number of signals and you are updating all the signals at a time then this total value will be equivalent to the invocation of how many signals you are using inside this particular derived signals so that's why it is always recommended when there is a dependent signals and they are updating in a sequence then always use a batch of the signals then only this badging signal will help us to invoke less number of times until unless it is completing all these batch updates so that's about batching a signal so it helps a more and more whenever there is a dependent uh, things or a derived signals which are using two or more signals and updated at once then we have to use batching this signals so that's about your batching signals in solid js hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you